All right, good morning, YouTube. It's Ro here. Thank you for visiting You Grow Ro. If this is your first time here, I hope you'll consider subscribing at the end of this video. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you. Today, we're going to be, well, I'm going to be walking you guys through my new method for saving tomato seeds. Um, I've done a video on this before, and I'll link to it above. Uh, I think it's a year, maybe two years old. Uh, I'll make sure to provide a link to that in the description as well. But I've, I'm still going to use that same method, which I originally got from Stacy over at Hands in the Dirt. Uh, you should check out his channel if you haven't already. Uh, I'm going to be using that same method, but I've added another step to it. And that's what I want to bring you along for. It's going to be making my seeds a lot more viable and healthier. And I want to share that with you guys. I got the idea from another YouTuber and I'll be sure to link to that gentleman in the description as well. So I'll show you guys my new method here in just a second. I'm going to be saving seeds from the accordion cherry tomato. It's my first year growing it and I'm really enjoying it. It's a very vigorous plant. It's a beautiful little tomato and I think people would like to trade me seeds for these. Um, I'm already making my new trade lists and I think these seeds will come in handy for me. Let me show you what the plant is looking like. Today is September 3rd, I believe, and last night we got down to um, 46 degrees. Luckily, it doesn't look like it did too much to this accordion cherry plant. The flowers are still there, but you look at one of my other plants, and those blooms didn't survive. So... It's a sturdy little plant there. Beautiful little fruits. They're very pleated. It's very vigorous. Very productive as well. There are fruits everywhere on this. They grow in these beautiful trusses. They turn uh, from green to orange to red. Now, my plant is not staked. It's currently flopping all over everything, <laughs> sharing the tomato cage with this orange jazz over here and the cage over here with this Pantono Rom Romanesco. Also, it's sprawled on the ground as well, so it's <clears throat> massively productive. Oh. Oh, my, my first, is that the orange jazz? No, it's the pink jazz. Uh-oh, I gotta take that, hold on. This is my all-time favorite tomato, all time. Are we getting blushing? This little baby one here. I think that tomato was blushing back there. I'm gonna take it. I am taking no chances. Pink Jazz is my absolute favorite tomato of all time. And it is so finicky. Anyway, okay. So this plant is massively productive. And for just being allowed to ramble all over the ground, it's doing really well. Got a few leaves down there at the bottom that could stand to be trimmed off, but that's totally okay. Otherwise, the plant is good and green and healthy. The fruits look fantastic. They're all fairly uniform. No complaints at all. So this is a perfect candidate for pulling fruit or pulling seeds from. 
here is a truss of fruits that I picked yesterday. Not completely ripe just yet, but getting there. This fruit, this one and this one, these two are totally ripe, but the rest still need just another two, two three days or so to ripen up. We're not gonna be using these to pull the seeds for them. We're gonna be pulling seeds from the first truss I got, which is over here. These are the first fruits that I got off of the plant. And they are now very, very, very ripe. <laughs> I know that these seeds are super mature. I mean, these tomatoes are soft and they are ready. These seeds are ready to be harvested. So let me show you how I do that. It's the same process as I used in my last video to begin with. So stick with me so you can learn what's new. Okay, I've got a cup. Fine mesh strainer. Let me get these out of the way. And my super ripe tomatoes. Cut it in half. And squeeze the seeds out. Doesn't look to be that many seeds in here. That's weird. Okay, but we'll do what we can. Okay. You could use the holes or, you know, the water in your house, but I use my yard hose. I'm just going to put this on a decent blast. That feels pretty good. I'm going to take my seeds. And essentially what you're doing is you're blasting off all that gel from the seeds. Normally, in nature, that would all ferment in the ground over time. And then the tomato seeds would sprout when they're supposed to. This is nature intended. But for us, we don't want that there. You want to clean that off. Now, I'm using this really good stream here. You might see a couple of them pop out. But really, you want to get that goo off. That looks pretty good. hit it a little bit more. And there it is. All clean. All right, well, let's move on to step three. So in the past, I would stop at this point. Step two would be the last thing I would do aside from dumping these seeds out onto a plastic or a glass or ceramic plate that it would be able to be pulled off of instead of like not paper towel or something because it would stick to that. But in my new method, there is additional steps. So I have this container. 
I don't know, it's just a Rubbermaid container. Tiny little thing. I'm gonna take my seeds, put it over this container, and give it a good thump. There you go. All of my seeds went into that container there. Leave, you're still gonna need your fine mesh strainer, so you leave that out. Next, I'm going to add some bleach. I know, I know, before you go getting all crazy, you're using bleach on your seeds? Yes, apparently in the agricultural, ag agricultural world, this is very, very common treatment. I'm gonna add a one to five ratio of bleach and water. So there's one spoon of bleach and one, two, three, four, five spoons of water. And I'll to the side. I'm gonna get my lid here and I'm gonna shake this for two minutes. Let me set my timer. You're gonna shake it vig vigorously. Right. Now what this is, they call it a bleach treatment of the seeds. And essentially the bleach is supposed to kill any viruses or disease that is on the coat of the seed. Now you saw my plant was very, very healthy. I had no issues on it whatsoever but I'm still treating my seeds because I'm trading with people. These aren't, you know, seeds that I'm keeping solely for myself. And even if I were, I'm still doing this now because you just never know. It doesn't hurt to do the treatment, just do it. It doesn't take long. I mean, we've been at this for what, maybe 10 minutes now? Not even 10 minutes. It'll be 10 minutes after the uh, two minutes is up. But you don't want to start your new growing season out with um, seeds that have maybe carried over some virus. That could be detrimental to your, cop, your crops, you know. So do the treatment. Now he had spoken about, oh, by the way. The gentleman that I saw this from, and he didn't make up this method, he saw it from some universities. I think he said Ohio State, or maybe uh, LSU, or maybe both. But the gentleman whose channel I found this idea off of, his channel is called, what is it? Growing Vegetables and Horticulture with Brent, I think it is. I'll link below to the video. There's our two minutes. So now I'm gonna pour these back into this fine mesh strainer and run them under some cold water to clean that bleach off. Be right back. Okay, I'm back and I ran these under my sink, under the cold water for, I don't know, a minute or so, just to get that bleach off. Okay, so now I've grabbed something plastic. You need something plastic or ceramic or glass. Don't use a paper towel unless you wanna plant the paper towel, which you definitely could. I mean, the paper towel would just decompose in the ground, but I don't wanna do that. Again, I'm trading these seeds and I'm not sending people sheets of paper towels. Um, so I got my plastic here. It's just a lid from a takeout container. I got my seeds, I'm gonna turn it over, and just like I did in the glass, I'm gonna thump those seeds out. Oh, 
Oh, we got one over here. Okay. All right, there's all my seeds. And now I'm just gonna put this someplace to dry. And I'll come back and I'll show you guys what they look like. I did wanna mention one thing. If you decided that you didn't want to do the two minute shake with the bleach and water solution, there is one other thing that I did that worked just fine. And that was to do the five to one ratio with the bleach and the um, water. And I did them in the little jelly jars, the glass ones from Ball. I just let the seeds sit in there and soak for like 15 minutes. And then I went back, strained them out, rinsed them under the cold water in the sink. Worked just like this method where you shake it up at. So you have two options there. And here we are some hours later. And there's our seeds. Nice and clean and fuzzy perfectly viable been through the bleach treatment i am not at all concerned about sending these to someone else and um them possibly uh having any viral issues because of my seeds works like a charm they're beautiful right fantastic all right, friends, I hope you got something out of it. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you check the description for a link to Stacy's um, YouTube channel and a link to Brent's YouTube video that I got the idea from. And I will see you guys in another video on another day. Until then, happy growing.